One week ago today, shots were fired inside a local mall, sending people running to safety on one of the biggest shopping days of the year. CBS 17's Lillian Donahue joins us live from the streets at South Point. And Lillian, we covered the breaking news of the shooting last week. So what's different tonight? Well, this time last week, this mall was completely empty after police shut it down and evacuated all of the shoppers after three people were shot and other three people injured during that evacuation. But today, I returned to find it buzzing with people and a whole lot more security. Shoppers are strolling through the streets at South Point Mall. It's a far cry from one week ago when shooting erupted on the second floor. Now is more security. Durham police and sheriff's deputies are also patrolling. I always thought it was open. So when they opened, I was like, oh, well, must be all right here. While mall officials did not give specific details about what they've changed since the triple shooting a week ago, the spokesperson said they have ramped up security efforts. You can tell they, they increased it. Signs inside the mall say firearms aren't allowed. It's not uncommon after an event like this to see a surge uh, of, of very visible uh, police presence. Uh, one, you know, to investigate, two, also to, to convey confidence or to instill confidence in, in the shoppers. Unlike early speculation on social media, the shooting last week was not gang related. Durham police say the shooting started after at least two men tried to rob another man who was selling jewelry, but not affiliated with the mall. A horrific event. I mean, gunfire at a mall on the Black Friday. One of the suspected robbers is still in the hospital after being shot. The other suspect is this man who police are still looking for. In the crossfire include a 10 year old girl and a 58 year old man. Both are okay. If you see something, say something, particularly when children have been hurt. Yeah, Durham police recovered two guns from the scene. And while they haven't made any arrests, they say charges are coming. Reporting live in Durham, Lillian Donnie, CBS 17 News.